Hi, good morning. Today we have received a question. What is epithelial on corneal cross linkage or as it is commonly termed, termed what is epi on CXL? So the last time we had discussed uh, about different variations of corneal cross linking and we have discussed what is epi of or where epithelium of and what is, today we'll answer the question what is epithelial on so epithelium is the top covering layer of the skin the cornea and basically all the structures in the body and in prk we remove this layer or even in lasek we remove this layer and apply laser very similar to that in epi of corneal cross linkage this layer is removed but in epi on we retain this layer now what's the advantage of retaining this layer is it's less painful it's quicker to heal because you're not scraping the top surface out and people can tolerate it better till now the basic reason we could not do a lot of epi on was the riboflavin molecule was mixed with dextran and it did not penetrate the epithelium. Some novel strategies like using a basement membrane looseners like BAC or BAK, benzyl I mean, uh, chloride, which is a normal preservative in drops like tetracaine. So you can use tetracaine to loosen those tight junctions and allow this molecule to go through. Or, and instead of mixing it with dextran, you can compose it differently so it can penetrate through the top layer. And then some proprietary research is being done by some organizations where instead of using riboflavin, some other chromatophore can be used. Now what that means is riboflavin absorbs the UV radiation and releases free radicals, which helps in cross-linking. Chemically similar um, molecules, but which can penetrate the epithelium, can have the same effect. So that's what's in the future. And with epion, uh, also uh, we can do is focal treatments. So they can be asymmetric treatments, like as we remember the cone is usually in the center or inferiorly. That area can be treated differently than the cornea, which is structurally normal. So these things will come in the future. But the point to remember is epion is a good technique but it may not be for all because the reaction, uniform reaction we, we, which we get with epi off might be lacking in epi on. So selective cases like young children uh, where one eye is not very severely involved or early cases can be done with epi on because if it doesn't work, we can go back and do with epi off. But usually all over the world, most of the cornea surgeons agree on this that in keratoconus, epi off gives more um, consistent results and reaction, but epi on could be a choice in selected cases which the keratoconus surgeon could decide with you. Thank you for sending in your questions and keep asking us more. Have a wonderful day.